Hey DIYers, I'm George at Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be going over how to hardwire zones into the Lyric controller. Now, the Lyric controller, Honeywell's newest system, has 128 available slots for wireless zones. It has 32 button zones. By buttons, I mean key fob zones. So 32, each key fob has four, takes up four zones, so that would be a total of eight key fobs. And it has two open slots for hardwired zones, which are actually found on the back of the panel. So if you grab the Lyric controller, you have everything powered on, it's gonna throw up a cover tamper right now because I'm gonna take off the back plate so I can show you guys the, the two zones for the, the two slots for the hardwired zones. So usually you have a screw installed at the bottom of the Lyric which holds the back plate down. Stop beeping which holds the uh, back plate onto the system. Once you unscrew that, you just slide the back plate down, or if you have it mounted on the wall, you bring the Lyric up, go ahead and remove the back plate. Now, once you remove that back plate, you're gonna see that if you're using an LT cable, which is the most recommended cable to power on the Lyric, unless you have your own cable, of course. Besides those two terminals, you're gonna see HWZ2, the ground, and HWZ1, hardwired zone two, hardwired zone one, GND, stands for ground. Now this is gonna be where you hardwire your contacts into. Now the only devices that you should be wiring into this system are going to be door or window contacts. You cannot wire in any Devices that require power such as motions, glass breaks, smoke detectors, you can't wire any of those into the system. Only door or window contacts. And I'm gonna show you why in a second here. We're gonna get into the programming. So after you wire them in, also make sure whenever you guys are wiring in those zones and powering it on, that you fish the cable through one of the holes here. That way whenever you guys go to position the back plate on, this cable doesn't get stuck between the back plate causing a tamper error. This cover tamper button right here, if it's not correctly pressed in, will throw up a cover tamper. So that's a common mistake that I see happening a lot. So make sure that you fish it through or just, if you don't, make sure that there is no, that the cable is not blocking the back plate from fitting on correctly like how it is right now for me. <laughs> Once you snap it into place, the system will have a cover tamper error. Once you have that in, press the home button twice. It's gonna ask you for your master code. One, two, three, four is Honeywell's default master code. Yeah, so to get into the programming of the hardwired zones, after you have them wired in, all I want you to do is, if you're at the home screen, because that's where we always start, you're gonna go ahead and hit the security Next option you're going to do, hit Tools. You're going to use Honeywell's default installer code 4112. Now the installer code may have been changed by you or monitoring company, so if you do know it, use that one instead. But the installer code by default is usually 4112. That's what it comes directly out of the packaging. Yes? Once you're entering the installer code, hit Program. Once you hit Program, you go to Zones. Now in Zones, one and two are always gonna be set to new unless you have edited, edited them, yeah? Um, once you, let's say you do have one learned or wired in, you're gonna highlight hardwired zone one, you're gonna hit edit. Now, the reason that I told you these can only do window or door sensors is if you go to device type, the only options it gives you are window and door. So let's say we do door. It's gonna give you the response type entry exit, which is usually what you wanna do, but you also have different options. Let's say you have a back door hardwired into it and you don't want an entry delay on the back door because nobody uses that door to enter the house when the system is armed away or stay. You can go ahead and set it to a perimeter. The zone description, you guys can set it to whatever you want. I'll set it to back door right now. So I start typing it in. It's gonna start giving me suggestions back. Another thing I commonly see is people type in back and then they'll type in door for zone description too. You probably shouldn't do that because 
the device type already says door. So if you type in door as zone description two, it's gonna say back door, door open. So it'll repeat the door twice. Make sure if it's a window, same concept. You guys don't have to type window or door or motion or anything like that in the zone descriptions. Just type the area in which you have the sensor mounted in or where you plan on placing it. Now, alarm report, if you're being monitored by a central station, you wanna make sure whatever zone or whatever sensor you want to report to the central station, that, that is always enabled and set to yes. If you have it set to no, if any alarm gets tripped on that sensor, it will not report to the central station or to alarm net. The chime, you can toggle through the chimes, different ones you can do. So this is if you open up the door and you wanna hear the chime, the panel chime, you're gonna go ahead and switch it to whatever you want. And then supervision. Now, there's different ways of wiring in a contact, right? If you use a resistor at end of line, an end of line resistor, you wanna make sure you have supervision set to end of line. You can actually toggle through that. If you haven't used a resistor, you would just set it to normally closed, and that's that. And you also have the option of doing normally open. Most of the time, you do wanna have resistors on your wired sensors, that way if anyone shorts the line, the panel is notified and it lets you know that it's been tampered with. So we're gonna go ahead and leave it as end the line resistor. After you're done with all your programming changes, make sure you hit save, it backs it out, and now you have backdoor learn into zone one. Zone two is your second hardwired zone and it has every option that we just went through, so I won't go through that again, but just know that zone one and zone two are gonna have the same features, yeah? Same options, window, door. So I'm just gonna go ahead and back out of zone two. And if you're done programming all of your sensors, make sure you hit the back arrow key all the way out to the home screen. And since I don't have anything learned into hardwired zone one and I programmed it in, it's gonna tell me right now that the open, that the back door is open, right? That's what I said the description as because it's not, showing a closed circuit. So it's letting me know that the back door is open, but that's because I haven't wired anything in, right? So that is going to be how you hardwire and program zones into the Lyric controller. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to hit like. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel and enable notifications. That way, whenever we upload new content, you can get notified. If you have any other questions, feel free to email us at support at alarmgrid.com. Thank you guys very much. I'm George, see you guys next time.